holding that finish a sign of a good golf shot a well balanced finish can certainly help with ball striking maximizing your distance potential and also with the consistency of every single golf shot that you have in today's video i'm going to be talking all about that and how you can hold your position for every single one of your shots so let's dive straight into it this is nick does golf hey golfers and welcome back to another video here on my channel nick does golf it's great to have you here for this series i hope you've really enjoyed it so far today we are talking all about holding that finished position as we've ended the shot it's a really important thing to do because it's a sign of a great golf shot and we all want to hit great golf shots don't we so let's get to work straight away so we found a decent impact position we've extended everything's rotated towards the target but we're still maintaining that posture then from there our body is going to start to slow down because that's as far as we can really take it and then our arms are going to just wrap around our body from there trying to get the club shaft resting on our neck from there is going to be a good key sign to a good golf shot obviously it's going to depend on what sort of shot you are playing but for a full shot you really want to make sure that you can get that club wrapped around your neck with all your body weight into your left heel from there so if we take a look from this angle we've hit a good impact position everything is starting to rotate we've extended our arms from here on a good path with the club and then we can wrap round from here i've still maintained my posture for as long as i can before i extend out a common problem with a lot of people is they'll come into impact as they push off the ground from here to generate a lot of power they tend to stand up too early now this is going to cause some problems because as you can see if i stand up too early the club path is going to move inside from here this could result in pulls also if i have to jump out of it and i've early extended then we're going to see that ball jet out to the right and this is not ideal because ideally we want to hit a straight shot so making sure that as we've squatted into the ball we're coming up and out of impact we've come to extend our arms we've still rotated towards the target our weight has gone into our heel we can extend out and wrap that club around our neck this is going to be a really good tool to use when coming to hit those full shots so i think when it does come to holding the finish it's pretty self-explanatory really if you can just find yourself with the club wrapped around your neck and you are well balanced then you're going to be onto a winner really with the golf shot that you're trying to hit consistency is key so if you can try and grind out a way of extension through the shot and holding that well finished position with your weight tucked into your left heel for a right hander obviously vice versa for left handers you'll certainly see a difference in the flight pattern of your golf ball so in today's video i haven't really had to dive well into the details of what you need to do it's self-explanatory really you just need to make sure that you get yourself in a good position ready to finish that golf shot off if you enjoyed that content hit the like button i'd really appreciate it and leave a comment down below let me know do you actually hold your finish position or is this something that you haven't even considered when hitting those golf balls if you have enjoyed it hit the subscribe button i'd absolutely love it if you did as you can follow me throughout this whole journey and also check out some of my other videos so you've finished all the areas that you need to hit a full golf shot from here we're going to move on to how you need to make certain adjustments for different shots and different clubs that you'll be playing whenever you're out on the golf course so make sure you join me tomorrow i can't wait to dive into it with you thanks very much for watching and see you all on the next one